Hello friends, welcome to the Mississippi Children's Museum. And today we're gonna to be talking about the moon phases, but we're gonna be using Oreos. In order to do this activity, feel free to grab a paper plate, some markers and a pen, and also, of course, some delicious Oreos, a bowl and a spoon, or even a plate and a spoon, just so long as you have a spoon. So let's get started. So first of all, get your paper plate and get your pen and go ahead and start writing down the phases of the moon. Feel free to pause anywhere throughout the video if you need to um, just catch up. So first of all, at the very tippy top of your plate, you're gonna write new moon. Then you're gonna go and you're gonna draw a little arrow and then write out the word waxing crescent. Then we'll move over into first quarter and then waxing gibbous, then full moon, and then we're gonna move over into waning gibbous, and then we're gonna move over into last quarter, and then we're gonna move over into waning crescent. And then of course, if you'd like, feel free to draw an image of the earth in, in the middle and feel free to fill out the countries. You're welcome to do that. So let's get started. So the first one is really the Probably the second most easiest one. First, we're gonna do new moon, okay? And that literally only requires you to just take off just this little bit because a new moon looks as if there's almost nothing in the sky because essentially the um, moon isn't reflecting any light from the sun. So it's just, it's just kind of this uh, dark circle in the sky. So first, let's just, just get off this little bit and we'll put it on our plate. All right, so we've got our new moon. So new moon, check. Next, we're gonna be moving over into waxing crescent. All right, so I'm gonna get my Oreo. I'm gonna take most of the, most of the icing off and I'm gonna leave just one little sliver of icing on the right side. All right, let's get to it. And I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Feel free to use your Oreo discards for anything you'd like. Maybe you could put it in ice cream, who knows? All right, so this looks like a pretty nice little waxing crescent. And so let's just put it on down on our plate. Okay, so next we're gonna make a first quarter. For first quarter, we're gonna leave half of the icing on the right side, okay? So let's get started. So there you have it, half of the icing on the right side. Let's go ahead and put it down. So next is waxing gibbous. We're just gonna leave most of the icing on there, but we're gonna take just a little sliver of icing off. But we're gonna leave our icing again on the right side, okay? There you go, waxing gibbous. <gasps> this one's so fun. Okay, I just saved this one because, you know, I knew I was gonna need it for later. This is our full moon. Isn't a full moon so beautiful? It's such a beautiful, beautiful sight. So I just wanted to show you what we have so far. We have at our very top, the new moon. Then moving on, we have our waxing crescent, our first quarter, our waxing gibbous, and oh, what a delicious looking full moon. Okay, so next we'll be moving on to our last three moon phases. So we just finished full moon, and now we're moving over into waning gibbous. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just take off a sliver of the icing, uh, just leaving like a little dark crescent shape. And we're gonna leave most of our icing on the left side this time. All right, so there's a nice waning gibbous. So we're gonna put that right next to our full moon. So then we're gonna do last quarter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take half of the icing off again, like we did with first quarter. But this time we're gonna leave half of our icing on the left side. And there we have it, our last quarter. One more quarter to go and then you can enjoy your cookies. Our last quarter is waning crescent. And so that means we're gonna take off most of our icing on the right side and we're gonna leave just a little sliver of moon on the left side. And if you've caught the pattern, our waxing uh, crescent and gibbous in our first quarter, that meant that the moon was showing on the right side. But for the second half, for our waning gibbous, last quarter, and um, crescent. That means that the um, moon is showing on the left side. There you have it. Our moon phases are complete. 
Now you can enjoy these delicious cookies. I thank you so much for joining me at the Mississippi Children's Museum. Until next time.